Hey guys, this is William with another video for PlayAgricola.com's YouTube channel and Twitch.tv slash Play underscore Agricola. Playing an E EGIK WM France Deck G4567 game with Tooldin, Lumen, and Rainier. So, uh, looking at this first pack, Hobby Farmer is good, Chief's Daughter is good, Sugar Daddy can be good. Plowman's okay. I think the pick is between Hobby Farmer and Chief's Daughter. Maybe, maybe Sugar Daddy. I guess I'm probably just first picking Chief's Daughter here. It's like the safest overall pick by a good amount. Yeah. Hobby Farmer is good, but there are other stop cards here that provide vegetables, like Family Physician or whatever. So, start, start with Chief's Daughter. Alright, well, kind of already regret that decision because there's Trailblazer. But uh, Undertaker is also very good. I'll probably just take Undertaker here. Although, Chief's Grandson... Hmm. A Chief's Grandson triggers off of me playing Chief's Daughter, so... Is that enough? This is like, probably, th if I brush this out, it's like three points without using an action. So three points without using an action is pretty good. As much as I want to take Undertaker, I think Chief's grandson is like... It, and it won't come back, right? Trailblazer, Undertaker, Bricklayer, it might get taken over Hide Farmer or Drawing Genius. Yeah, I think I'm taking it here. <laughs> Well, I like Trinket Collector. Vegetable Man. Whenever I have to use Take One Veg, you can also play an Auk. Uh, okay, so this is good for my Chief's Daughter and my Trinket Collector potentially, but I'm not taking it here over Trinket Collector. Pasteurization Expert is quite good as well. But uh, so far, our hand is entirely endgame points. So... That, but that's okay, you know, with Trinket Collector, uh, I want to pick up cards that have immediate impacts, like Landing Net and uh, that sort of thing. So uh, I can definitely uh, get early game effects from my miners and then get points at the end of the game from my occupations. Uh, well, Colliery Overman looks pretty perfect. With Chief's Daughter, Chief's Grandson. Birthday Cake Maker. Oh yeah, you have to give other people stuff, right. Cattle Driver, Three Cattle at the end of the game. Yeah, Colliery Overman definitely is the pick. I could potentially rush up to a stone house on two rooms, or Colliery Overman builds my fourth room. Both are possible. Okay. Um... Do I have a setup for Family Physician? Not sure that I do, but I'm not really that pleased with anything else here. Understudy is okay for doubling plow sow and doubling the plow action. And double reno. Yeah, the fact that understudy can double Reno is relevant, and it can double the uh, Reedstone food space too. And say if if I want to stay on two rooms, I can double Reedstone food. Um, so drawing genius, I could potentially use with Reno when it comes out, but I think the pick here is Hide Farmer. This seems like small house, so Hide Farmer is decent with small house uh, strategies. And then, OK, 
Crafter is better than Animal Keeper, but I haven't really, yeah, I guess Grafter, sure. I was thinking this was Animal Tamer, not Animal Keeper. Yeah, Grafter, even though I'm unlikely to use it. Hey, Relocren. Okay. Uh, Town Hall might be good here if I'm rushing up to a stone house right away. Like, I think the plan is something like understudy. Understudy into another Auk. Maybe understudy into Colliery Overman or understudy into Chief's Daughter. And then round two is something like Reedstone Food into Reedstone Food. And then four clay and take wood. Yeah, uh, I like Town Hall. The thing is, Leftovers is really good. And Leftovers comes with an extra point from Trinket Collector. So I think I'll take uh, Leftovers first and hope to wheel Trinket Collector. Otherwise, l wheeling Crib would be good as well. I think Leftovers is very, yeah, very good. Oh, wait, does Trinket Collector... Without a bonus point symbol. Okay, so it doesn't actually work on Leftovers. Whoops. Whoops! I guess, I guess, um, Crib has a bonus point symbol as well. Whoa, well here's Slapdash Renovation, so I don't have to use Understudy if I can just Slapdash Renovate. I mean, Understudy to double the Reedstone food action will still be useful. Yeah, part of the power of understudy was the ability to double reno the round it came out, even if it came out late. So slapdash and it eliminates the need for that. But understudy does let me use the readstone food multiple space multiple times, so probably is still worth playing. Okay, uh, I'm thinking I need a start player action for stage one, so Winter Deadwood would do the trick. But Absinthe is a better card, for sure. I'm wondering if I want Ladder to save me on the two read. I don't think so, since it looks like I might only need three read total in the game. I might wheel Hermit Stick, or I might wheel uh, Winter Deadwood. Both would be fine. Not the best Trinket Collector hand so far. But even if it's three points, that'll be decent. Yeah, because I'm thinking I can understudy 
understudy into Chief's daughter, Chief's grandson. And then round two, I'm ready to play Absinthe, which would be crazy early to play Absinthe. Really early. Turn a board a vegetable for three points. Hmm. Yeah, this is a good conversion, but it's pretty expensive. I think Oak Cask is pretty good. And the fact that Oak Cask gets a point from Trinket Collector. Hmm. This would be good if I get, like, Reedstone Food Stage 1. Sorry, or Round 1. It also... It, it, it's good if I get 3 wood Round 1. This is a lot of points. A lot of points. I'm going to take Oak Cask. I'll take Crib. Crib is not as good when I'm only planning to family growth one time or once, but I obviously will want to get on the family growth even without room space. Uh, Moldboard Plow comes with an extra point on it, so that's probably my pick here. And Hermit Stick is two points if I stay on three family members. Could take Guest Plow. No, I don't need Guest Plow. Sure, Hermit Stick. Well, Trinket Collector is like capped at three points. That's okay. Three point actions are decent. It did change my pick order a little bit. I'd probably take Salted Tea over Oak Cask without Trinket Collector. But I'm not unhappy having Trinket Collector. Yeah, it does look fun. Unfortunately, I don't really have any Stonehouse payoff cards. Like, Chief's Grandson is sort of one. But I don't have, you know, Plow Driver or anything else, unfortunately. But I should have extremely, extremely action-efficient uh, moves. Yes, I will do that now. My, action, my, um, my moves will be extremely action-efficient. Like, the ability to get, you know, six... Uh, probably seven or eight points out of one action with Chief's Daughter, Chief's Grandson. And the fact that it also pushes out a bunch of Ox will be crazy. All right, so I have the choice between Reedstone Food and, und and playing Understudy. I think I play Understudy here because then in round two, I can Absinthe start player. And Absinthe this early is crazy. Wheelbarrow pusher for Rainier. Well, it means Rainier is probably not going to start player that much. But yeah, it's a thing to be aware of, absolutely.
<laughs> Tool didn't start players. That's fine. So yeah, what do I do? Clay. I assume Lumen takes two clay, but if Lumen takes two wood, I'd be very happy to get four clay into Absinthe, start player Absinthe. Otherwise, three wood into start player Absinthe is good as well. Yeah, there is going to be four clay there. And the sheep flip. So Lumen probably takes the four clay, knowing Lumen. Tolin's got poker player. Poker player would have appreciated understudy, the ability to play two ox in the early game. But uh, if I get Reedstone food here, that's also like, what am I saying? If Reedstone food's there, I'm taking Reedstone food. Four clay, beautiful. Now I just need three Reedstone food actions. Probably I'll go for four, I guess. Because <sighs> I'm going to understudy the two Reedstone food actions that I'd start player into. Tolden plays Beauty and the Beast. Which one does this one do? Second family member, orthogonally adjacent, ortho by the first, get two food. So if you use plow and he's occupying plow so or whatever. Reedstone food and get the absinthe food. And then I'm going to use understudy to take Reedstone food a second time. Tolden plays Plowman. Yeah, Tolden's hitting the, uh, <laughs> let's face a, a bunch.
So I take Greenstone food again. Rainier using the one reed as a reedstone food space is going to be ready to build the first room in round four. Tulda needs food. I guess snack time comes with food. And he's probably going to take, what, traveling players? That comes with an extra two food here. Yeah. Oh, I keep the reedstone food action, which is beautiful. I also get absinthe again. So there we go. There's my four reedstone food actions. I'm ready to slapdash double reno and play uh, slapdash double reno. If I could get one more clay action, then I could build a major improvement when I do the double reno. Because probably I do Reno to Clay Slapdash, and then the I have another improvement to play with this. I want another improvement to play with the Stone action, so that should probably be uh, a fireplace or a cooking hearth. Also, it's hilarious that with uh, Major Minor not coming to round four and Sheep popping in round two, that nobody's built the fireplace yet. I'm guessing Lumen does so here. Yeah. Lumen gonna start player into six wood. Also, Rainier is able to double build with his first build action, which is crazy. Lumen is gonna start player Winter Deadwood. Makes sense. Family growth flips here. So I should put absinthe on. I think I want to mark two clay. Not sure what I'm supposed to put absinthe on here.
Yeah, family growth. Yeah, is unfortunate. Obviously, I wanted to see Reno. Rainier will double build and then gets to grow, grow. Lumen will take Reedstone food to get the second reed. So I could play an occupation here or I could take my two wood one food. The two wood one food is not enough. Like I want more than that, but that's what I'll take here. Oh, Rainier's got a simple fireplace. So that forces Lumen to take the sheep into build. <clears throat> Reno. Hmm. So I was talking about playing like a fireplace or something, but I got the five food fishing. So my feeding is okay for a little bit longer. I think I read stone food and then slapdash reno and then read stone food again. Do I do that? Trying to think how many more how much more reed do I need? Three stone and one reed. So I need one more reed stone food action. Well no, that's not true. It depends on when I want to take the stone. I have enough stone if I take two stone in round eight. If I first move take two stone round eight, I can second move build in round eight. 
So that means I do, would not need to take any more stone. But it means I can't play any stone major improvements. I'd have to do other stuff. Playing Oak Cask on Reno seems fine, because it's unlikely I play another improvement before renovating. Yeah, playing Oak Cask and then 3 Wood would be okay. Okay, I guess I'll start player. Play Colliery Overman and then start player. To get a six wood, six wood in the food. Uh, did I get 100%? Yeah, I guess I did. Yeah, I did get 100% of Absinthe. Fun. So Undertaker got to tool then. Yeah, Undertaker is nice. So he forced Undertaker plus poker player. And it is round 8. So he gets 9 points. Do I want to take Reedstone Food again? Line up for the Basket Maker's Workshop. Basket Maker's Workshop not necessarily very good with Wheelbarrow, collect wheelbarrow Collector in the game. Um, one stone short of building my room here. So I think I take four clay. Yeah. Feed four. Oops. So we'll then start player ladder so he can build first move. So that means I don't get to grow. Too bad. Yeah, Undertaker very good here for for Tooldent. 
gets him the uh, gets him a uh, space quicker in the growth queue, which is nice. Oh, you know what? Rainier could take stone here. One stone from Wheelbarrow Pusher. That would really suck. That would really suck. I didn't think about that until now. No, he builds the BMW. Good, 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 good. All right. So I should be able to get two stone with my first move. Unfortunately, it looks like Toolden probably uh, builds with their first move. So I'm going to do two stone into what? Two stone into start player. So I could take three wood. I could take, I could build the cooking hearth. Where's Silo Girl, Plow Driver? I know, I know. Yeah, I could take three wood or I could build the cooking hearth. Build the hearth later, take wood for now. The earlier I get my fencing up for leftovers, the better. Can someone wake up Scholar? Yeah. Yeah, this would be a great game for me if Family Growth didn't come in round five. If Reno comes before Family Growth, I'm in a great spot. Great spot. But Family Growth coming before Reno was, was brutal. That's always the risk of games like this. Always the risk. That even though I'm going to score like high 40s, there's going to be someone who gets into the mid 50s. And uh, that's going to be very tough for me to overcome. Man, Sugar Daddy almost made it back. Oh, I would have liked Sugar Daddy.
So it looks like this round might be something like four wood into fence 12. I don't need defense 15 with hide farmer. Yeah, four wood into defense 12 would be fine. Pretty sure Lumen takes the sheep, so I should get the four wood. And nobody's going to fence, so... Lumen takes reedstone food, sure. Looks like I should be able to grow next round. Rainier's got Peasant's Boutique. Yeah, uh-oh. <laughs> That's a good one. Good one for Rainier to have. So I have to hope Twilden takes wood really aggressively the rest of the game. I need Twilden and Lumen to take wood because I have no interest in taking wood anymore. So I have to hope that they take wood and uh, at least we can slow down Rainier on... Uh, on his fencing. It's gonna it's not gonna be possible to interact with his um, plowing too much because of Trailblazer, but that's okay. Like he's still gonna need sow actions, which we we can mess with his sow actions. Yeah, first move three wood. Yep. Yeah, definitely, definitely right for him to do that. I'll grab the two boar with my first move. And then family growth mold board plow. And the nice thing about understudy is I can use the plow action 
two times in a round. So I only need one total Plauso move. Yeah, a Hobby Farmer Trailblazer is so good. So good. I take one of the food actions next round. Uh, yeah, so I want something like two cattle, two sheep. I can't hold all three breeding pairs, but I go for the cattle or the sheep if they're there. And then maybe a five food action and a plow action or something. I get a clay. Rainier's got animal trap on start player. Yuck. Yuck. So something like sheep, sheep plow plow, or sheep food plow. Or food sheep plow. Maybe taking the two sheep is not that important. Not over the food actions, because the sheep are only food to everyone else, because nobody else can hold them. If there's two cattle, though, 100% I'm taking two cattle. It's my first move. Newman's got apiary. Good card. Glad that didn't get to the trailblazer. Rainier's grabbing the pair of cow, pair of cattle. Oh no, he's saying the cattle for animal trap. So he's re-upping start player again. Oh, that's kind of annoying.
So second move, one of the food actions. Or the two sheep or a cooking hearth. One of those three. Like fish, traveling player, sheep, cooking hearth. The six food is nice over the five food because it lets me not have to open my cask and still pay for the leftovers. Still pay into leftovers. Going to have animal capacity issues? I am. Yep. But that's okay. I'm going to have to start eating the animals. Like I'm going to have to eat them in the round 13 and 14 harvest. So I'm not too worried about that. Plow two here. Six food and F for bonus. Oh, Lumen gets to trigger Surveyor with four family members. That's pretty cool. Not too often that you get to do that. Uh, I should start player into family growth even without room, but I don't want to give Rainier a plow so. I just really don't care about the action. I'm going to plow two and then I'll, I can, um, understudy vegetable or grain.
maybe just take one of them and then play Cooking Hearth. Uh, Rainier has so many actions, he can re-up start player a million times. Uh, too bad. Super Boo. Super Boo. Hermit stick? Uh, I don't know about that. Requires taking wood, and it doesn't activate on trinket, so I think probably not. Lumen is building the big cooking hearth. I wondered if he was going to. I didn't think he'd need to with bean hole. I guess I can just take six food traveling players. Take a veg first. I have the option of fireplace or six food traveling players. Take a veg for now. I mean, I probably still need the fireplace even after um, going on traveling players because I'm going to want food to play hide farmer for to pay for hide farmer and trinket collector. Yeah, I, I letting the oak cast go all the way to the end of the game will be very good with hide farmer because I'm going to need extra food in that final har final harvest. So yeah, six food and then uh, fireplace next round, probably. How many bonus points will I have at the end of the game? 8, 12, 15, 18 bonus points at the end of the game. That's pretty good. So if I can pull off like a 32 point farm, I hit 50. Uh, this farm is not quite going to make it to 32. It's a little low. So 6, 6, 9, 15... Let's say I get one more field, 19, four pastures, 23. Let's say three and two, 28. Vegetable, 29. Something else, thir uh, one sheep, 30. One grain, 31. Minus three, 28. Plus absence, 29. Uh, it'll be around there. I'll get around there. Fireplace, 30. Yeah, I'll get I'll get close to that number. So yeah, I'll score around 50, maybe a little higher if I get family growth next round. I mean, I just need Lumen to not take family growth here, and then I get it. I don't know how likely that is. Maybe Lumen will want to start player. If Lumen could start player, that would be pretty great. Yeah, the fact that Tulden's taken no wood. I guess Rainier's been start player and has taken the wood in front of him the whole game. Uh, 
Ah, uh, darn. So like plow, sheep, fireplace, something like that. Pasteurization expert for Rainier. Okay, I'll take uh, I'll take a sheep with my next move. Make sure he doesn't get that second sheep until next round. Should have he should have held on to his unwanted or his ho uh, holiday gift until pasteurization expert came out. I think. Although I guess he wanted to re-up start players, so, eh, I don't know. <sighs> so I'm the only person who can family growth next round. So is, are the, is that my three actions? Hide Farmer, Trinket Collector, Family Growth? Might be my three moves. As long as Family Growth is a uh, uh, at least a two-point action, it'll be better than taking grain. If it's, only, if it's only two points, though, I could take grain just to block points from uh, my opponents because Lumen and Tulden both need grain still. Hmm, yeah, last move to clay fireplace, I guess, so that I don't have to open the oak cask. So five food and a boar to feed six and F to leftovers. So I'm going to end the game with four clay. So that's going to have been just a dead... I did a dead clay action, unfortunately. Oh, holiday present really made it made the rounds.
So Lumen will plow so. Like I said, family growth is not interactable. So I'll go ahead and play hide farmer here. Why hide farmer first? Uh, because fewer people know about it than trinket collector. And I have understudy, so I get to go back. Like I get to play both no matter what. And the only other action I would consider is take one grain. And that uh, only hurts tooled in and lumen. Um, doesn't seem like Rainier cares about the take one grain space, and I'm playing against Rainier, so... I mean, Rainier's got the win here. So now I can ask myself, do I want to occupy the expensive occupation space? Do I have the food for it? Just a block. So uh, the six food, I'm going to have six food from Oak Cask plus another five food from my two animals. So five food, uh, I'm going to need seven for my family. Uh, so it costs me one point if I occupy the expensive occupation space. So hopefully Rainier doesn't have a useful occupation to play. I'm going to just show my oak cast going to six. Oh, food to leftovers. Oh, I forgot about leftovers. Oh, darn. Because um, I need eight plus two for hide farmer. All right. Then I'll eat a cattle to pay for hide farmer and I won't bother with leftovers. Oh, nice. Food to me is a point. Tolden just gave me a food there. Or he just gave me a point. Fully just gave me a point. Alright, so this is my final farm. So whatever I score plus uh, 18. So it's going to be around 50. 49. Might be enough for second? Is it enough for second? Yeah, it's probably enough for second. Yeah, Rainier's gonna be low 50s. This was close. This was close.
Although I have to say, getting to keep Reedstone food in round three was very important for me. That was very that was very relevant because that saved me a start player action. So yeah, that was relevant. But I did do a useless like I had a useless four clay action in the middle of the game, which I had intended to go towards the cooking hearth, but it didn't make a difference. I I was gonna have to eat basically the same animals anyways. Lumen's got a bit of an eclectic hand. Hill Farmer, Stone Trader. I like Stone Trader with um, Bricklayer and Surveyor. That's fun. And the Vegetable Guy with Surveyors is fun too. Lumen might have passed me at the end there. I didn't, I wasn't really counting. But yeah, Rainier's around like 53, 54. So 49 for me. Yeah, Rainier 53, Lumen 47. Yep, was good for second, but uh, unfortunately being growing six, growing six was too bad. Lumen saying, I handed Rainier the game by taking hogging Reedstone food in stage one. I don't really think that's fair. I took it twice. I took Reedstone food twice with one start player action. I don't think it's really fair to say I hogged it. Yes, my second action was also Reedstone food. 
I could have taken wood or whatever, but I don't need wood for this hand. I don't, like, I don't need, I didn't need wood at all. I didn't want wood. And like I said, if, if Reno comes before family growth, I have a, like, my game is very similar and everyone else's game is worse, you know. Like, if, fa if Reno comes round five and family growth is round six, or stone is in round five and family growth is in six, like, very little changes about my game. And, and I was last in round, I was last in round 11, 12, 13, 11, 12, 13, not in 14. I was last in 11, 12, 13. <laughs> or, yeah, even more, maybe more than that. Because Rainier was just start player, start player, start player. So I was definitely the closest to beating Rainier. And uh, unfortunately, I think it came down to... Um, it came down to... Uh, the stage two order was very important, unfortunately. The stage two uh, card order. Okay, guys. Uh, that was a fun one. I'm going to probably hop into another game. We'll take a short break. Uh, oh, uh, you should check out Lumen Stream. Twitch.tv slash Lumen underscore S. I know probably a bunch of people are wa were already watching Lumen. Because I think he probably started his stream before me. But... If you're watching this on YouTube, Lumen streams at twitch.tv slash Lumen underscore S. You can check out his point of view. And uh, yeah, we'll take a short break. Otherwise, hope you guys have enjoyed this little video. We'll see you in a bit.